Hi everyone, my name is Max and today I'm making drawers for the cabinet in my RV. The wardrobe is quite big but it's difficult to reach the bottom shelves. I think some drawers will make this much more comfortable. Most often the very first thing you see me do is cutting the wood, but I actually spend a lot more time measuring and planning beforehand. For drawers to move freely you need a very good fit. If they end up too wide or too narrow they will bind. That's why it's normally better to build the drawers first and the cabinet later. Space is very valuable in camper vans, so I used 6mm plywood for the walls of the drawers. These corner clamps are incredibly useful for putting a cabinet together. I used them to align everything, then I took them off on one side, applied glue to the wood and put them back together. I could not have done this without them. There's a link to the ones I used in the instructable. With them everything stays in place and at a 90 degree angle. But they don't exert a lot of force, so you still need some normal clamps. Obviously these end grain butt joints are not very strong on their own. I needed some supports to take the twisting and pulling forces acting on the drawer fronts. So I used some leftover hardwood to cut these triangles. They only add material where it is needed at the joints, but they don't add a lot of weight. They weren't really long enough to reach the bottom, but I had to work with what I had. I also gave them a chamfer at the top to get rid of the sharp corner. The bottom is held in place by glue and some finishing nails. I did not used to have a nail gun, but this really sped up my workflow a lot. The shelves in the wardrobe have this cream white color. I used a natural oil finish with titanium oxide pigments to match the look. I never made handles before, but I gave it a try. So I picked up some hardwood scrap and started to cut off everything that wasn't part of the handle. This was surprisingly easy and quick. Just make sure to never put your hands near the blade. I always use push sticks when using the saw. These cheap little block planes are great to make rounded over corners. I like oil finishes, not because they look amazingly well, but they're very easy to apply, they're free of harmful chemicals and they dry really quickly. When it comes to drawer slides, alignment is key. I use this piece of wood and the clamp to make sure the slide is positioned correctly. The slides on both sides need to be parallel and at the same distance from the front of the drawer. I had to use machine screws over wood screws since the plywood was so thin. Normally I would use nylock nuts, but they would interfere with the slide itself. A drop of super glue will make sure they stay on. Installing them in the wardrobe was a little bit tricky, there just isn't a lot of access. The sides were also set back a little bit, so I had to make spaces from scrap wood. First I dry fitted the drawers, including their slides. Then I marked their position to secure them first with double sided tape and then with screws. This is rather fiddly, but the best way I can think of. Ready to add the drawers! The slides can compensate a little bit of misalignment, but I had to take the space on the right on and off a couple of times to shave off some material. You can see how cramped the space is. When I build these RVs, they start with the interior and add the walls later. I mounted the handles with double sided tape. I guess that is the lazy way, but it holds up fine. And we're done! I think they turn out great and they add a lot of usable space. But feel free to tell me what you think in the comments below. I do read all of them. If you like this kind of content, feel free to check out my other videos. My name is Max Maker and I make all kinds of stuff. If you want to get behind the scenes content, become a Patreon and support this channel. You can also check out the Creativity Podcast, where me and my friend Jeremy S. Cook discuss everything from woodworking to electronics, arts and life in general. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it.